Hi friends, I am so glad that you joined me today. I have, that's right, I have my Bible where every word is true. And today we're gonna answer the question, who knows what is best for you? Who knows what's best for you? Well, God knows what's best for you and for me. God knows what is best for me. So before we go to our story today, which is a great one, we're gonna to go to 1 John chapter 3, verse 20. And we're hiding a verse in our hearts. Here it goes, ready? God knows everything. 1 John 3, 20. God knows everything. 1 John 3, 20. Now God knows everything and God is good so we can trust him that he knows what is best for us. Now our story today is from the book of Jonah. Now Jonah, he has kind of a cool story, a fun story, a hard story. Here's Jonah. Jonah loved God and he had a special job from God. God told Jonah to go to the city of Nineveh to tell people who live there to do what God says and to love one another. Now, where did, where did God tell Jonah to go? God told Jonah to go to Nineveh. Nineveh, it's, the, it's a city. And the people of Nineveh were not following God. They were not being nice and they were not doing what they were supposed to do. So God told Jonah to go to Nineveh. Did Jonah want to go to Nineveh? Jonah did not want to go to Nineveh. So Jonah made a choice to run away. Here we go here. Jonah ran away and he did not do what God told him to do. Oh no. Now God loved Jonah and knew what was best for him and the people of Nineveh. So after Jonah got on the boat to run away, God sent a great storm, a great storm, like bigger than you can even imagine everybody on the boat was scared. Everybody. And Jonah knew that God sent the storm for him. So he told the people, he said, throw me overboard and the storm will stop. And they were like, I don't want to throw you overboard. But they did. They threw him overboard. And as soon as he hit the water, the water was calm. It was amazing. Now Jonah was in the water and God sent a big fish to swallow him. Jonah was safe inside the fish's big belly, but ooh, I'll bet it smelled bad. I'll bet it was icky, it was dark. And Jonah chose to pray and to talk to God inside the belly of the great fish. Here's a picture of, I don't know what it would look like, but it could have looked something like that. Now, when Jonah was talking to God, he said he was so sorry and that he would do what God said because God knows what's best. So yay for Jonah, three days went by. One, two, three, three days. Jonah was in the belly of that great fish and then God made the fish spit Jonah out on the beach. Whoa, that's crazy. So the fish spit Jonah out on the beach. God told Jonah again, Jonah, go to Nineveh. Tell the people of Nineveh to change their ways, that I love them so much. Do you think Jonah made a good choice this time and followed what God said? Yes. Jonah made a good choice. And when Jonah told the people 
that God loved them and they should change their ways and do what is right. Because God knew, knows what's best for Jonah and God knew what was best for the people in Nineveh. Do you know what they did? They chose what God said and they did change their ways. And they told God they were sorry and that they would follow him. God knows what's best. And God knows what's best for you. And God knows what's best for me. And his love is so, so perfect and great. And I hope that you can trust him today. Let's thank him for his goodness. Thank you, God, for loving us and always, always knowing what is best for us. Help us to listen to you and to follow you and to make the choices you want for us. We thank you for your love and your goodness and your grace and your great and awesome knowledge. Amen. Love you, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.